So you're interested in buying or maybe starting a homestead property in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Well, you found the right place. We help people do that from time to time as a real estate brokerage. You can certainly check out the channel and see a bunch of other videos, but specifically, where would you do that if you're looking for a little bit more land? When we say homestead, we typically mean two or more acres. Now, we're not talking about a large operational farm or ranch. So normally that ends up being kind of two to 10 acres. It could be two to 20, somewhere in that range. But the bulk of what we see in the DFW area is kind of in that two to 10 acre range. And certainly we see it on, on all parts of the Metroplex, Northeast, Southwest, and everything in between. But we do see some areas where we do see more of that, right? It used to be that areas like Wiley, Texas were pretty big on the homestead lifestyle. Now we're seeing that move out a little further east and Northeast to Nevada, Farmersville, areas like that. We're still seeing some holdouts in Wiley and Parker and Lucas, and even in Saxe in some of those areas. You go to the north and there's still hints of those uh, types of homeowners in McKinney, not so much in Frisco, up in Prosper, then up into Salina. And as you see, make your way up into Sherman or over to Denton. And then by all means on the Fort Worth side, we see a little bit of that still hanging on in Benbrook. We see a lot more of it out towards Alito. Um, Grand Prairie some, down to Grand Berry. We're seeing a lot more. So I'm considering all of that DFW in Dallas-Fort Worth. So when, when we say that, those are some of the communities you may want to look at if you're from outside the market and you don't know where to look. Typically, the property dictates the area in this scenario because there's not that many uh, reasonable homes or reasonable acreage properties with all the elements you're probably looking for for a homestead. Water, maybe propane or electric, you might have a preference either way. Uh, most people are looking for less zoning and less deed restrictions, which typically means out of our larger communities and out into the county a little bit more where you're not in um, the city limits of one of the cities, even some of the ones I just mentioned, you're on the outskirts, meaning you're regulated by the county or you're further outside of one of those cities where you refer to that city as home just because that's where you may go to the grocery store or for school districts and things like that. But a lot of the questions we get um, really surround the utility of the land, right? Is there any elevation? Do we have trees? Can I have chickens or can I have animals there? Um, road access, electric, water, solar, things like that. Now, obviously, there's different options for all of those demands in different parts of the Metroplex. Pretty much every community I just mentioned, except for some of those larger ones, like, for example, McKinney and Frisco, you're going to see a lot more regulations in those cities on what animals you can have, as well as, um, you know, the ability to do some solar or have a well uh, and things like that. Um, but we're seeing, I don't know that I want to call it a resurgence in the number of people that are homesteading, but there's certainly a louder community of homesteaders in DFW than there have been at least in the last 20 or 30 years um, that I've been paying close attention. So there are communities of homesteaders. And of course, that crosses over into things like homeschooling and co-ops and food and animals. And this could end up being a, you know, a, a one week long video if we went into all that, which of course we're not. But I've named some of the communities uh, and, and if it comes to buying one of those communities feel, in one of those communities, feel free to reach out to us. This is something we help people do. If you're thinking about selling a home in one of those areas, let us know because the marketing effort for a homestead type property is different. The traditional consumer does not value some of the utility of the land if they're not a homesteader. So if you are a homesteader, the best case scenario is selling to another homesteader. And maybe we should just pause for a second and define what homesteader is because different people define that differently. Broadly, we're talking about somebody that wants to, at least in some way, live off the land, grow some food, raise animals for food, be a little bit more self-sustaining than a typical suburban home owner, um, have some space to run, to work, to play, uh, maybe to build or make something. There may be a shop for welding or construction or woodworking or something like that doesn't mean that's your full time, you're fully sustained from the land, but more so than a typical residential property with a you know third to quarter acre lot type of situation. So again, if you're interested in properties, two to 10, two to 20 acres where you can live off of, or at least be somewhat supported from the land, whether it be growing food, raising animals, uh, having a business on site, or just having a little bit more room to kind of live your own life on uh, some space, 
then check out the rest of our channel. Let us know in the comments what questions you have about Dallas, Fort Worth, some of the communities we named like Nevada or Salina or Benbrook or Alito or Grand Prairie or Granberry or any other communities in the whole region. Uh, we would be happy to point you towards resources, the man behind the camera is interested in this and has bought land. I live on a couple of acres and there's a wide array, a big spectrum of what folks are doing in the DFW area. Lots of farmers markets. Some areas have more support with CSAs and things like that than others do. We'd be happy to be a resource for you there. So if you didn't get specifics of what you need in the video, let us know in the comments, drop a question. We'd be glad to answer them there, do another video, or maybe connect with you offline and help you buy, sell, or just get more information about a homestead property in the area. We'll talk to you on the next video. Take care.